made in Alaska. They're a treasure trove of historical goodness. The Aunt Phil's Trunk Book Series brings Alaska's history alive in four picture and short story filled volumes. Years in the making, creating this collection was very much a family affair. Joining us this morning, author Laurel Downing Bill to take us beyond the covers. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. So tell us a little bit about these books. How did they, how did they come to be? Uh, well, my aunt, who the series is named after, was one of Alaska's leading historians. She wrote about Alaska for national magazines and newspapers and won national awards for her work. I inherited it in a way because no one else knew what to do with it and they kind of had shoved it to the side. I retired from the phone industry, moved into Anchorage from Bristol Bay in 97, saw what my aunt had done and knew we had to do something with it. And what kind of effort did it take on your end to put this all together? Well, my life before this was in telecommunications. I did great business letters, but I knew I needed tools to actually be able to write something that people would really want to read. So I ended up going back to college, UAA, and got a degree in journalism with a minor in history in uh, 2003, so I would have the tools needed to do what I wanted to do. So take us a little more in depth. What will we find in these books? Oh my gosh, well I thought I had one book when I started this, and as you see we have four right now, I'm working on the fifth. Each book is a different time period, and I wanted this to be so much fun for ages 9 to 99 to just not want to put the books down. So what I did was write all the stories in short story format, we then went through thousands of photographs at museums and libraries and chose about 350 photos per book. So your first one is early Alaska up to the Klondike Gold Rush. The second one, how many of Alaska's towns were born. The third one, um, that's Anchorage, aviation, the Matanuska Valley. And our fourth one is World War II up to statehood. I know it's tough to pick one because all of your hard work, research, gone into the stories. But if you had to pick one favorite story in the series, what would it be? Well, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child, and I don't <laughs> dare do that. But um, there is all. one story that I really enjoyed. Uh, my aunt wrote it. It was called The Blue Park Bandit. And after Fairbanks discovered gold and started building, you had miners all over, and of course they had gold, which brings along highwaymen. And there was one gentleman who was getting used to robbing people on the trails, and he robbed this one group of folks, and then he noticed one gentleman looked a little different. And he said, are you a minister, sir? And the gentleman said, I am Bishop Rowe of the Episcopal Church. And he said, oh my gosh, I can't rob you. Here, you take your money back and, and take that poke with the shoelaces too. He says, I can't rob you. I'm a member of your church. So, of course, that kind of led to him being discovered and arrested and sent off to prison. Well, he escaped from prison, I mean, excuse me, from the ship, the, the Lavelle Young, and um, ran off into the woods, and they had a big search for him, and he had this thing on his leg, and it was called an Oregon boot. And if anyone wants to see what an Oregon boot is like, it's a 30-pound weight that they strapped to the legs of the ne'er-do-wells, so they couldn't run away too fast. It's on display. There's one on display at the Troopers Museum downtown across the street from J.C. Penney's. I encourage anyone who's interested in law and order and the history of Alaska with the police, please go check it out. I don't think it costs anything, and if it does, it's very minimal. But um, they eventually did find the highwayman and uh, sent him off to prison where he did some time for his bad deeds. Wow, so that is just one of the many stories. So, that's, why I kinda, that's why I like the books, because I... They're short stories. I can, I can stay focused. I can read them one at a time, go through it. Where can we get a copy of these books? Oh, my gosh. Um, well, my books are great for ages 9 to 99. Okay. And, in fact, parents get reimbursed for the series if they get them for homeschooling. Um, you can find my books across Alaska from Barnes & Noble to Walmart. They're on Amazon. My books are everywhere. They're also at my website, antphilstrunk.com. Or come see me at the Saturday or Sunday market downtown across from the Hilton. I'm there every Saturday and Sunday autographing, and I always do specials for uh, folks to come down and buy the books directly from me. Fantastic. Laurel, thank you so much for your time.